Who do you like TV, everybody? Hi, guys. Welcome to uh, a episode after a year of being being yep. out of the studio. I mean, yep. we did a live studio, a, a live uh, shoot at our house, remember yes. last summer? Yes. And that was it. After that, we didn't, you know. At the studio? We no, we, we haven't been here in over a year. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, a lot it's of good things. good to be back. A lot of things happen, and, and now it's springtime, you know? Mm -hmm. It's spring. And uh, things are getting better. Spring and, is uh, in the air. We got a great guest tonight, though. We got Pete Dimofetta. Yep. Is that right? Yep. And we got uh, Miranda Panda, my co host. Yep. Miranda. Hi. And we can't, we, the reason why we only got three people tonight is because that's all you could have in the studio. Mm. But we figured we'd do a show and, um, you know, we feature um, P here tonight because he's got a lot of stories about SNL. Plus, we got roll ins. And stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And Miranda is in a um, a magazine. Oh well, she's not in it yet. But <laughs> when she was in, well, you were in really great magazine. You yes, yes, magazine. I was in a few magazines, but um, this yeah. one is a contest for Maxim. Um, I'm in the running. I've made it to the second round. Uh, the third the third round starts tonight. I think I'm probably going to be in the third round, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But we're slowly like getting to. Um, so who's going to win, you know? So we'll see. Hopefully that'll work out. And um, I was telling you before yeah. that I did a movie in Coney Island called Duke of New York. Um, and I also did a music video with this rapper named HD. He's a he's a friend of mine now. He's nice. He's a really nice guy. He's got some really good songs. So go check him out, too. Because um, you were telling me that you have a Coney Island song. Yeah, Coney Island song. So Don't hopefully... let the summer go by. Come, Coney Island, right? <laughs> don't let the summer, right? Don't That's let right. the summer go by. That is great. Yeah. Yeah. But that'll, yeah, we're going to rock it in the studio. We're going to go in in a couple of weeks, maybe in a week. Nice. we got to get it before awesome. the summer comes, because then if it goes by, we're in trouble. Then you did let the summer then, go by. Then we let the whole thing go by. <laughs> Everything, you know, see, that's the whole thing. That's what I love about uh, live entertainment, mm -hmm. is that it happens, you know, you do it in time. You do it. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Yeah. You know, there's no practice. If you if yeah. you got to practice now, you might as well give up and jump into a lake somewhere. Oh, wow. No, 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 not that bad, no. But, uh, yeah, it's tough. No, I know, I know what you mean. But you know what I want? You know what I actually, Miranda, before we get to Pete? Yeah. So I wanted to talk to him about a lot of crazy stuff that he yeah. did. And I said, oh, um... What is the, what are some of the things in the magazine that they go by? Like like what are, what are, what are they looking for in, in you know as far as how many hits you get? In the contest, yeah, it's it's based on voting as of right now. We'll see what they do later in like the next round or the round after. But the first few rounds are, are based on like voting, so you know it's kind of like a viewer's choice thing in a way. Um, and then. Yeah, it's, it's kind of more of like a sexier magazine, not like nudity or anything, but it's, it's um yeah, it's just like a kind of like stylish, sexy type of magazine, so no, it's taking... we'll see what happens. If you guys can go vote for me, if you see yeah. this, and you know, if, like, you know, I'll... Well, everybody on Staten Island knows you know, Miranda, they got to vote for you. <laughs> well, is there any place <laughs> oh else God. they could go and vote, like some people, that not on <clears> Facebook, is there any other... Can... Yeah, I don't know. I I'm not sure because um, I a lot of people told me that they link not it. YouTube, right? No, they they a lot of people told me they link it to your Facebook to make sure that people aren't voting more than once a day. You can donate to vote. Um, your <clears throat> so the money that you're donating goes to also it goes to a good cause, which is Wounded Warriors. So like they help veterans. I think it's veterans. Um help them build like homes and, and find housing and stuff like that so it the money is going to a good cause but it'll also like go to um getting me more votes too but yeah i'm trying to do a bunch of stuff right now and you know we're doing yeah. this show we've got the other movie we're doing well it's good but you have Looking you have God, a couple of things so. on facebook where you're doing some like comedy things now you get into comedy yeah now. i've been doing a little like uh little social media Com skits wow. um little little skits on like tiktok instagram uh, things like that. Oh, I also do a podcast every Saturday night called The Green Room. Um, wow. That's been going really well, too. And I've been posting uh, videos every week for that, like promotional videos. So that's probably what you've seen also. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've just been trying to do a bunch of stuff. And yeah, I've seen, I've seen a, a couple of them. There was one that really was 
really funny, you know. Yeah, I gotta be. Yeah, not all of them are, you know, gonna be, you know. You gotta try. That's what. Yeah, that's yeah. What comedy's all about trying. Yeah, I'm everybody gonna make thinks a new you're gonna batch be, this week. Yeah, everybody thinks see. you're gonna be funny just on the first try, but a, yeah. a lot, of, a lot of comedians they went through a lot of. Um, yeah, no, some things do better than others. I seen. Look at Jackie Gleason. I seen. Did you see the, the old flicks of Jackie Gleason that they never showed oh, before? Yeah. yeah, the lost episodes. They, they weren't fun. They weren't funny. No. Without without the the what's her name the Audrey Meadows. Audrey Meadows. Without Audrey Meadows. And you know I, I read a thing on her. She was a a model like you are, mm -hmm. and she, uh, she she they asked her you know she they, there was a show coming out and Jackie Gleason was looking for a, a new for a host. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, well, that whole stuff, a wife for the show, <laughs> and um, she he picked he picked her, and she was a you know high end like model. Yeah. But you know, he didn't think it was going to work because they were looking for more and older. She was younger. Yeah. So, but it clicked. You know, sometimes you never know. Yeah, I know. You never know what's going to. Um, timing is everything, and and mm -hmm. uh, you know. I have a little story on Jackie Gleason. Uh, the stagehands told it to me. Yeah? That, yeah, he went, he went out to Florida. He this took is his crew. Demo Feta, everybody. Yep. He, From SNL, he's been a with all the stars. He actually was with the Blues Brothers. He actually encountered, he was yeah. on set with the Blues Brothers. Wow. Um, that was a uh, fill in. Uh, they uh, were at Laura Michaels. What about the guy that's from. Um, um, Vegas vacation with oh uh, Chubby Chase. Chubby Chase, right? Yeah. Chubby you were on set with him. Yes, that I mean cool. that was a great movie, right? Mm -hmm. with Chubby Chase, where he's digging up the money. Yeah, there. he was only with the show for about a year. That was great. The year he did so much that it's like he did, you know, most of the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Jackie Gleason, when he went out to Miami, he told all his crew, all the stagehands, he goes, "I want to take you out to Miami." And uh, he told them, you know, hey, you guys owe any money? Because the Shylocks used to be coming in the back doors looking for their money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, he says, well, I want you to be honest how much you owe me. Because if anybody comes in when I'm doing my show in Miami, he goes, they will be in a lot of trouble. So whatever you need. So if a guy told him I need five grand, he gave them ten grand because he figured they're probably lying, you know. So wow. yeah. he did that. It was a nice gesture. And he was great at shooting pool. He was uh, yeah. Minnesota Fats himself. And what about uh, Rosanna Danner? Oh, Rosanna Danner. I got close with her. Rosanna Danner. Um, no? When that's I went into the SNL. studios. Uh, that's the old SNL. That's the, that's the yeah. funny, funny SNL. That's right. the OG SNL. I was yeah. like, like, the stu that, like the way we are now, you know, just like off the cuff. That's yeah. the way they walk. Wow. I was very shy that's when I so went funny. in there. I was very shy. And she took me out of my shyness. She says, we all... We're all flesh and blood. We're all the uh -huh. same. And don't be walking around with your head down. Just be like a, 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 a peacock. Just, you know. Yeah. And, and she took me out of it. And I used to practice skits with her. Like she would do a new skit and she'd demonstrate it with me. Sometimes she would come do a cartwheel and grab me and almost flip me over. We did all <laughs> some really wild stuff. She was beautiful. She had uh -huh. a heart of gold. Uh, yeah. And she, we left, she left two I heard she was pretty wild, too. Oh, wild she was. She was funny. <laughs> She would pull all pranks on us. Oh yeah, she was the she was the kicker. She would go. What, what was her line again? Oh, uh, Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana. Oh, yeah. You go, Rosanna, Dana, my bad, my bad, 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 and yeah. she'd go on rattling. She's on, making like, fun like, of Barbara like, Walters, actually. And and she do it more, and it, people would laugh even more. The more crazy she got doing that, Rosanna, our name is Rosanna, Dana, 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 right? Yep. She's yeah. the rattle off. Wow. And she uh, ad lived a lot. You that know, is she talented. didn't follow the script and yeah. she did that. You should look her up because it might give you ideas. Mm -hmm. Very I talented will. girl. I will. That is some... Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, you could take, you could take, um, comedy from I Love Lucy. She was another Oh, one. yeah, Lucy was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah I loved her. Cup. Mm -hmm. With everything. There was a story about her, too. She didn't believe in plastic surgery, so they used to take, uh, like, uh, thread from a uh, sewing thread, and they would pull her skin and do, like, adjustments. So oh one of the actors, I don't know who it was, a com comedian, he saw the string hanging, and he went over, he says, oh, you got a string, and he pulled it, and the whole face went, like, it just twisted in all different ways. You oh, know? my God. Because she didn't believe in plastic surgery. She was a beautiful woman, but... She did the show till she got into, I think she was in her late 60s, almost 70s. Oh, so. really? Yeah, so she needed a little work done, I guess. Wow. Like, I didn't know she was that old. They really made her look, like, yeah. younger. But she was beautiful, yeah. She yeah. was really beautiful. But, um, 
Well, oh, and you did the, the thing with Billy Idol, right? Yeah, Billy Idol, the drummer what got stuck. About? Well, the drummer got this stuck is, in, um, in um, California, and he was taking the red eye, but he couldn't make it for the show. So Laura Michaels, uh, they told people that I played drums. I'm, I was a mediocre drum player. <laughs> Freddie's a hundred times better than me. Yeah. yeah well, you, but you, you pulled it off. I pulled it off, but yeah. I was scared stiff. We did it, we taped it. We ran it, because a lot of saying that live, people don't realize, it's not live. About, I'd say, half hours live, and the rest is all uh, done at rehearsals. And oh, really? Put in. Yeah, because there's too many quick set changes, and there's too That's many true. wardrobes, mm -hmm. so you have to space it out and do it. In, in the beginning, it was more live. Now it's pretty much, uh, you know, added in, and, you know, because they have a time slot. They're going yeah. live. There yeah. is an eight-second delay. Mm -hmm. I've seen many, like, I mean, I, I, once in a while, you know, I'll, I'll go on, um, but nothing attracts me to that show anymore, you know? No, well, it's all different now. It's all pol pol politics and stuff. Back in the day, mm -hmm. they Well, actually, um, sure. Fred Armisen is, was one of the funniest. He came on our show. Right, I remember seeing that. Yeah, right. he's, but he's you not were, on there anymore. Were you on the show? You weren't on the no, show. No, not that. Oh, that. That was before I came on here, unfortunately, because right. I would have loved to meet him, but yeah. um, he's not on he's there anymore, nice though, no? No, I don't see him on there. You know, but he had he has his own. He had another show that he did. Right, right. A show. Uh, a I'm convinced yeah. that Warren Michaels could take anybody and make a star out of them because he's made stars out of everybody. I mean, it's mm -hmm. amazing. It's so talented. And we were, we thought that show was going to last maybe a year. I mean, we were like, oh, this is going to go off the end. Now it's over forty something years. We're going on yeah, fifty it's years. A long time. It's amazing. But like you said, they changed. They changed the way they the form. Yeah, well, they're not as live, live, right? I mean, they yeah, don't, I mean, they don't let the actors do more than they. I'm do. sorry to say, sometimes yeah. I watch it and I end up turning it off after the monologue, like, uh, and maybe I'll go back a little for yeah. the musical guest. But uh, uh, you know, nowadays it's not what it was back in the yeah. day in the seventies. In the 80s, it was, yeah, and then people they, would, in the bars, would go home to watch it. The bars would empty out at 11.30 at night mm. to people to go home and watch it. Yeah, they're, they're not breathing off of uh, reality that's really happening in the world today, you know. That's right. You know? Well, they are, but they're doing it in politics and all that, and it gets boring after a yeah, while. It's starting know? to turn a little bit. I mean, they've been doing, before they were beating the heck out of the Republicans. Now they're beating the heck out of the Democrats or yeah. anything funny. Well, yeah, but I'm not even talking for that reason. I'm just saying, that after a while, no matter what subject you're on, yeah. if you stay on that same subject, it gets boring, no matter what you do. Of course. You know? Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you watch a shark movie and he keeps eating the same... No, I'm out of my... That's true, though. <laughs> you know? It's like, after a while, yeah, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's just like when you... Like a lot of comedians... I don't mind that they curse once in a while, but when they use it to try to be funny, it's not funny. Yeah, that's the only thing you have. If you're going, using it in context good... of what you're taught, your subject, yeah. and then you're hitting that off with a kicker, then it's, you know. Yeah. It has and you to know who did that good? And he was on our show. He, now he's becoming big. Um, Fred Rubino. Oh, yeah, Rubino. Fred Rubino, yeah, I seen him live. Anybody out there? That wants to see a, a funny, funny comedian that's yeah, been funny. on our, been on the Staten Island Comedy Show. Nevin Cumming, we've got to mention him because Nevin, oh, yeah, Nevin. was the original um, comedy uh, yeah. show. I still Staten do co-hosting for Nevin, but we're virtual right now. Nevin, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like when Freddie Fred was Rubino did that commercial for the eyeglass place. It's hysterical. I mean, yeah, that was great. That was yeah. Yeah. You know, he had lives off it. Now we're getting close to, we have a movie that uh, well, I'm, I'm helping, uh, you know, produce and stuff. And Miranda's yeah. going to hopefully be in it. And uh, maybe yeah. even your godson. My, 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 yeah, my nephew. Frank James. That, well, we got the, we got the uh, Yankee song. talking about Frank James. The Yankee song that I did. I'm going to show it in a minute. Just... Hold off for a second, but yeah, so I mean that's that's what it is about comedy, you know. It should be more it should be more natural, like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? I comedy mean I give them credit either Pat way. Pat Cooper, right? He was a, another one. Pat Cooper was on the show. Yes. I mean, we had we had stars on on you know we had stars on the show, even though we got a lot we we kid around because we said with the bottom feeder movie. Yeah, uh, bottom feeders. The bottom feet of, you know, we call ourselves bottom feet because, you know, we're at the bottom and they're, they're making money at the top. Yeah. But there's a lot of talent that comes 
the CTV, you know? Yes. Yeah, there I bring is. A lot, I bring, uh, myself, I bring, I had the bottom feet of rock star. He yeah. had great talent. He was with um, the guy that promoted the Beatles. The yeah. Beatles. He said, what are you, re when, you know, he'd tell them all the time. He'd say, uh, yeah. Danny, are you ready yet? He'd go to his office and he'd tell him, no, I'm not ready yet. I said, what are you going to, I said, then, right before he died, listen to this, yeah. you want to hear a story. I'm jamming with, I'm now I'm jamming with the bottom feet of Rockstar all over the, you know, Jersey, you know, we played at uh, Stone Pony, the Wonder Bar there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, those are two legendary places, right? So, one day we've got a meeting to go and see Pete, uh, I forgot his last name, but his name was Pete. Go see Pete, and he's, he was the one that brought the Beatles to New York mm -hmm. and promoted them. So... We go to his office and he goes, are you ready now, Daddy? I said, Daddy, if you tell him you're not ready, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> right? I'm going to kill you. Do I know this, I'm going to kill you. This is, you know, this is real, you know, this is, story, this is a couple of stories about my... But anyway, so he looks at me and I says, are you ready yet? He goes, oh yeah, we're ready. I says, okay, we're ready. So sure enough, we, we're getting ready to plan out, you know, different... Ventures that we're going to do with the yeah. music, and he was going to promote us and everything. Yeah. About a month later, he died. Oh. Dead. It's terrible. But <laughs> it just goes to show you, if you're not ready now, if somebody when says you're you, ready. no, but I'm saying timing I mean, is everything. Yeah. No, but if you if somebody comes up to you and you're in the bit like we're in the world of the business, you're doing the mind, do the music, I do everything. But and Pete. You do it right now. Oh, now you got to, I forgot to say about his radio. He's, a, he's now a radio guy, and he's not even getting paid for it. Yep. So he's a triple bottom feeder. <laughs> he's working with uh, Frank Russo, right? Yes. He's got a call-in show on call uh, show. the weekends. Uh, he's on, I think, Friday night and <clears> Saturday. <throat> Very good show. Uh -huh. He's good hosting. He doesn't cut people off. Which is great, you know. A lot yeah. of these guys, they if you're not on the topic they want to hear, they go slice and you're off the air. And uh, you know, I've been on a couple of times, and basically what he does, if I don't, you know, get on with him, he'll call me and he'll say, "You want to go on? You ready?" I might be half asleep, but I'm listening to the show, mm -hmm. and I'm on. We talk about interesting topics, we talk about my uh, experience with as a stagehand, and about a lot about life, things that happen out on Staten Island mm -hmm. that I just run into, you know, happen to run in. Yeah. So, but what happened? Then, then he get you get you he get you get on the phone with him. He's got me that I when I. Call yeah, but I'll tell you, you, Pete, you could out talk anybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could bottom feed and talk out anybody that asks. But you know what's good about it? No, but the thing is, even though you talk a lot, you've experienced a lot, and that's why you can't talk a lot. Yes, yes. But sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, like Jackie Gleason, when he gets the clock, and yeah. he goes yes. to, the, you know, when he goes to um, mm -hmm. um, Audrey Mellon, uh, he goes, his, wife, his, his, his mom comes in, he goes, all right. I put the clock out. Puts the mm -hmm. clock out like this. You ever see that? Yeah, it's a great episode. And he goes to his wife, goes, please, please. Puts <laughs> the thing down and she starts going off on Jackie Gleason. Yeah. And he kept the, and then the clock, bang, it rang. He uh. hits the clock. He goes, all right, you're out. Get out! He, he kicked the he kicked the mom. Oh the, my God! The mother out. Yeah, that's yeah, a great yeah. episode. I but know. getting back, yeah. But I'm I'm just kidding. But you oh, know, yeah, no, hundred percent. You no. know, but on the radio, but, but no, that's but, a compliment to me. I like that. I yeah. like speaking to people. And yeah, but making on the people radio, laugh a that's, bit. A, that's, mm -hmm. that's an art. That's an art. Yeah, yeah. Not. he usually has me come on when, when he's got somebody that's uh, calling the studio and uh, being a heckler or something. He puts me on, and one night he puts me on with this guy, and I said, you know what, you like popcorn, eating it in the dark in the movies. You know what happens, you eat in the dark, and instead of eating the popcorn, you hit the kernels, and they're like, oh, what am I going to do with the kernel, and you all of a sudden oh, yeah. you break a tooth. I says, I think you just broke a tooth. Yeah. And the guy hangs up, and he's like, whoa. Well, you know, flabbergasted, you know, yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, hold on that note, we're going to go to, uh, can we go to the Yankee, uh, Yankee song, this is a song I wrote for the Yankees, and, um, Musto, the, the actor, he, he sent that, uh, a letter out to the, to the, uh, organization, I will see what they, they it's hard mm. to get anybody to respond, but this would be a great song to get the, you know, 
Mm-hmm. But Yankees. Cobra really knocked everything out. It, you would know? Pump, it would pump the Yankees up. But mm-hmm. anyway, this is a song that I did video and stuff, and let's watch it now. If we can. There you go. Uh, that was a believe it or not that song was a fill-in because I, I was recording that whole month different songs and everything in the studio every other day and then one night my father's watching the, the game it, it was the um, championship the game world the series. Yankees and no it wasn't the World Series it was the championship they were mm-hmm. playing the Yankees and my father was a big Met fan and that night I, I, I fell asleep yeah I, when I fell asleep in the middle, of, I fell asleep like at the end of the game. They were losing pretty bad. But anyway, I'm dreaming and I'm uh, uh, about this, the game and everything. And that's how I wrote the song about the, you know the. Uh, it's about our ancestors till now. You know, mm-hmm. we never yeah. knew what was so exciting about the Yankees. Yeah. Now that we're a part of it, you know, and it's like it's a magical team. You know? Yeah. I, maybe it's maybe it would be, but I mean, if, if it wasn't. No, but <laughs> it's because we live in New York. No, but it's not that. The, the New York was a very powerful. It's, it's still very powerful, but yeah, you know, I, know. I mean, we've had some bad times lately. But the Yankees bring um, New York to another level because yeah. baseball became so big, and all the legends of baseball came through the Yankees. You know, they do DiMaggio. I mean, you can name that. I mean, I'm not great. Do you remember any names that? Oh, well, Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. Mm. I mean, so that's what this song is about. It's about the legends of the Yankees. But the part in the beginning where I go, come on, let's do the Yankee wave. Every time I would go to a game, yeah. people would be waving. Wave. Mm-hmm. You know, know. or they'd say, come on, do the Yankee wave. So yeah. in my head, I'm saying, wow, i got to put that in. So I said, 
Come on, everybody, let's do the Yankee wave. Now, if they hear that when they're at the stadium, the people are going to get up when they hear that, and then the song plays and it's rocking out. And then, you know, you don't have to play the whole song. You don't have to get too excited. But, yeah. you know, you just play a little bit of it. No, and I love it. play in the middle and the end and whatever, you know? I love it. I really like the the beat of it, like the in the beginning with the guitar, like the electric guitar or something. Yeah, it was yeah, like oh, rock, yeah. It, we, it's like a know, rock type of beat, and then it goes into like a pop. And yeah, I'm like, oh, it's I funny, like that this. guitar play that I, we got on there, I, I, I seen him at a club when it was with yep. your, um, your, um, my godson. Your godson. Yeah, Frank, Frank did a great job on Frank it, too. Frank did a great job mm -hmm. singing it, you know? Yeah. And he's, he hasn't really done an original song. You know, I always heard him do, everybody thought he was just an Elvis guy. This guy said, Elvis yeah. Guy. You could sing Elvis, you know, strong and, and would, you know, and then, and he pulled yep. it off great. He did a great job in the studio with mm -hmm. it, you know? Yeah. So anyway, that's the Yankee song, everybody, and that was done with creativity through, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what we do. Right? Yeah. And today's Willie Mays' 90th birthday. Wow. And really? And he's still in good oh, shape. Really? I saw him on the news. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Willie. Happy birthday, Willie, to Willie say Mays. hey, kid. Huh. Thanks for all the memories, and that catch you made was unbelievable. What was that catch, though? I think it was in the playoffs or something, or the World Series. I think it might be the World Series. He yeah. did that basket catch where he caught it, like, just down on the ground. It was an amazing catch. Wow. And he was facing the other way. The ball came over and landed in his glove like this right against the wall, which yeah. is very hard to do, especially when you can't see the ball coming. Wow. Wow. So we're doing the show today after the COVID. <laughs> no, after the love it, after the COVID. After the COVID. After the COVID. After the COVID. Well, it's well, we're, it's we're still done. in COVID, but well, you know what yeah, they said on they said on hopefully uh, the worst is you know, over. Yeah, but they said you got more of a chance of getting uh, a virus now than the COVID. There's, there's more more cases of the virus than mm. you know. Oh, the flu. I'm saying. Oh, I was more about to cases say, of the flu now than than COVID. Yeah, yeah. Which is you know, that's a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, yeah. Oh, getting uh, before we go back to you, Pete. With the so, um, when is the contest? When is it? Uh, your magazine? I really, I they haven't given us an end date. Um, I just know that the second round ends tonight, and then uh, I'm assuming in a few more weeks, probably. What did they? I think it's like a month long. So yeah. I think like maybe hopefully like two more weeks or something. Well, what did they? What did they get? That's what I hope. That's what I like to know. Just publicity. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's publicity. Is that a, is that a big you know? magazine? Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty big. So, you know, even if I don't win, um, I'm getting further than a lot of other girls. So I'm just happy about that. And, like, a lot of people have been supporting me, which is really grateful. So, and it's just, you know, it's get, kind of getting my name out there a little bit. Even, even if I don't win, you know, I'm still, like, yeah. I'm still kind of, like, promoting myself. Well, that's... And, like, that's, I'm on their page right now, too, so... Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Listen, it's not about winning. Look at uh, Jordan. He didn't even get picked for the All-Stars in, in, in high school. Yeah. The biggest, greatest ball play, basketball player yeah. of all time. Yeah, well, you just got to keep going, you know? Yeah. Little by little. No, but, I mean, sometimes you take... Sometimes you grow with it, you know, with experience, you know, and, and you're going through a lot there. I mean, you've got a lot of experience from from doing um, doing the shows at CTV. Yeah, I can't believe it's already been like seven years. That's crazy. I mean, you 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 would have never you you know been in front of the camera now doing what you're doing, bottom mm -hmm. feeding. Yeah, I think mean, this was one of the first shows I ever did. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you got to start somewhere, right, Pete? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Look where you started. How did you get you? How did you get the job with that? I tell you, it's a funny story. <laughs> I had a gas station I was working at, and mm -hmm. uh, oh, you were always in. working at a gas station. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. Drew, listen, did Drew ever tell you about the gas station you worked at? Oh yeah. The guy was taking the money up with the with the with, with the, the magnet. With the magnet. Yeah. That was bot That was the biggest bot of feet. <laughs> well, I was working at a gas station. Oh, this guy God. comes in to get work done. And he's watching me uh, with the ratchet. I'm taking the oil out. And he goes, you're good with that. You know, I says, you should come up at my job. So I, I didn't want to take a chance because I was making decent money. So a friend of mine came in. He was just going off unemployment. And uh, he, I said, why don't you go? He went. He called me up. He says, man, this is like, I put a glass of water out. And I made the $150. So all I did all day. You know, he worked at uh, Channel 11 with uh, Bill Jorgensen and Pat Harper. 
I did, did some legend back in the 70s. Yeah. So uh, when the guy came in to pick up his car, I said, you think you got room for me to go up there? He goes, sure. So I went up. Wow. He brings me to his brother, and his brother says, he looks at me, he goes, my brother sent another bum up here. Like that. So I says, oh, God. So I ended up going to work with a guy on the night crew. And mm -hmm. these guys were mostly, there were a lot of firemen working, some cops, they were moonlighting, you know. And, uh... It was like uh, there were a lot of convicts, that guys out of jail. You had no resume. Anybody could work up there as mm -hmm. long as you show up and you work. Yeah. So uh, I was working with this crew at night, and it was really scary because these guys were nuts. A lot of guys were Westies and cons. And uh, the boss, the, the guy's brother was a boss, and he sees you. What are you working up here? Well, I go, well, you didn't want me down here. So they started splitting me up. He took me down. It was a loading platform. And the other guy had me working upstairs. Mm -hmm. But then there was this crew called the dress crew. And that was like they were unique because they would go around and dress the setup. Like if the door squeaked, you'd fix the door. For the now you were an SNL. Yeah, this was I was up in the studio. And you basically sat